Hey guys, I'm your host, Mio Shabin. Welcome to Creators to Creators Today. Um, today, I'm doing something just a little different, something that has been on my heart. Um, and it's a series. It's a, it's going to be up for podcast, but I'm doing the first episode in video form um, because I feel like it's it's, it's going to be a very um, intimate, you know, uh, moment and also vulnerability. A lot of things I want to talk about and share that's been on my heart. Um, for those who don't know, I'm a filmmaker. Um, I write, direct, I uh, shoot, ended acting. I uh, well, moved from. I'm originally from Florida. Moved uh, from left Florida. Moved to Los Angeles for about a good ten years. Ten ten years. Uh, had a really long, uh, great experience out in Los Angeles, California, and it's just been great. Um, you know, ups and downs, of course. But you know, as I get older, you know, I think as, as we all do, we we kind of end up more conservative, right? We're 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 really free speak thinkers when we're young and, you know, no rules and very rebellious. And then we're just to get older and we, you know, as time teaches us, you know, things and life situations happen in our lives. We just kind of, we're hit with understanding of, okay, life is not all about this. Life is not all only just this. So uh, what prompt this, this little series that I'm doing, um, is just the, the the state of our world and you know where how things are going in 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 the world um it's i've been i've been feeling this kind of you know i make a lot of horror films and i always say being an african-american um can be like a horror film uh it's it is scary at times um, because you're kind of put, you, you wear it, you can't take this off, right? You can't take this, this color off. You're always going to be this, you're going to, any function, however you show up in the world, you take that with you. Um, and I'm not saying it is like a negative thing. I'm just saying as time went on in my career and things that I've, situations I've dealt with, whether it's positions and, um, so certain circles, how you move, any type of thing, I've noticed that there is structures, there are groups, there are sectors uh, to keep certain power plays in motion. And for the longest, you know, I mean, I grew up very, um, the you know, middle class family, my mom's a school teacher, my dad's, um, he worked for the city. Um, my family were very tight, very close knit family growing up. You know, I went to a private school, you know, in, in elementary, went to a great school, uh, middle school and high school. Um, so my circle was super diverse. I, I hung out with a lot of, you know, non uh, blacks. And that was just where the environment was, where I am, you know, and, and nothing's wrong with that. I, I love diversity and, and inclusion. It's very great. But as time goes on and, you know, in your career and your path, just you start to see things how the way of the world is set up. And then you start to see kind of how things are not fair for some people. And then other people over here are suffering or this is this. And, and you're going to be like, it's like almost like high school all over again. I guess over the over the years, um, I've I've been, it's been, literally the past two years that I've been thinking about this is because, you know, when the pandemic happened, we all kind of got shut in and I've started a podcast show, which is this uh, show here during the pandemic, because I was wanted to connect with people when I needed, I needed that kind of vibe with people because I was like, I don't know, you know, we, this is the first time in history that, you know, I've been sitting with myself not going anywhere you start to think you know you start to come up with ideas you start to think about life and perspective and what do you what, what is our purpose right what is the bigger picture and you know i thank god i know my purpose um but what can i do with what i have and the little bit of you know micro influencing quote unquote that i have i decided to start this series called cancel culture and I wanted to particularly talk to African-American men. Um, so this is gonna be a conversation 
um, that I'm going to have with um, seven different, you know, backgrounds of, of African American men um, on the show, and it's going to be a great dialogue. It's going to be very positive, but it just it just a very I think it's going to be a very interesting conversation, and I hope you guys tune in to it. And I, I hope you guys take something away from this experience because for me, um, as an African American woman in this industry, in the film world, you're constantly reminded. You know what I mean? And you just want to make sure that you do service to your people. Right? You want to do right. You want to give back. You know to the community, you want to share, you want to elevate, inspire some level, you know, every culture does it. So I think it's very important to do it, you know, across the board. And um, I think this will be a great conversation. And I'm, I have some really amazing guests coming on the show. Uh, ma- amazing men, you know, who are in the industry, who are not in the industry, who are, you know, in business sectors of, of the world. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. But for this episode, the first episode of the introduction, I kind of want to get into a little bit of something. Cancel culture. I don't know if it's if it's an actual term, but it is something that I feel like we are living in such a world where we have to be very PC about things, about topics, and we can't got to trail very lightly over subjects. Um, real subjects that happen in real life. And I think a lot of people don't want to see the problem because then they have to confront themselves. And that's what it boils down to is the the, the realness of, okay, having the conversation and how do we change it? How do we fix this? Um, not just within our culture and, and but, you know, I think, I, think, I, I think the problem really, and just from my experience in living you know, life for 30 something years on this earth. I feel like, um, I think collectively we have a voice together. We can all help each other out. But I do believe that some, especially African-American cultures, there there has been a disconnect with men and women. And I feel like this is gonna be a very good dialogue. Um, part, partly I do blame the culture. I, I, bl- I blame the, the, the way of the world is now how everything is just ran everything's different everything we social media runs everything you know it tells you you know what to wear what to be how to look this is what beauty is and if you're this and you know and we live in such a social media you know world where real conversations are not being had anymore um we're behind a computer writing and and all this stuff um instead of sharing and having real dialogue about real situations and problems. And so I think this is going to be a very interesting topic. With that being said, I don't want to give away too much, but that'll be coming up on the second episode. But I'll also drop these, the podcast episodes on my on this YouTube channel here, which will be uh, MVB Films channel on YouTube. I'll also I actually have a link in the description box as well below um, for those who want to subscribe to the channel. Um, the series will be dropping um, very, very soon. Um, so I'm very excited about that. It's I think it's going to be very important and it's going to be very impactful. And not just for African-American people. Everybody can listen to it, but definitely want to talk to the African-American men for this series, Cancel Culture. I actually, I don't know if you guys have seen this, um, but there is a amazing artist by the name of Kendrick Lamar. And when I say amazing, I mean absolutely phenomenal. Like people say he's the goat, you know. I, love, I personally think, you know, Kim Lamar is a messenger. I think he's someone for our time right now that everyone can learn and listen to and get something from. I think he's really trying to elevate the conscious consciousness of his people. Uh, and his new video that he just dropped, it, it was amazing. Um, I'll play a clip on the show right now for you guys to hear but just a snippet of it because I don't know if we'll get copywritten for it um but I'll play just a little bit of um the heart part five here we go I am all of us and I love how you know in the video he's just standing and talking 
the artist Kendrick Lamar, right? And and he's speaking from his perspective, and then it changes. And he finally looks at the camera to talk to the people and about just what's on his heart and, and what we're kind of actually living right now to this day. Okay, I love that line when he says, um, desensitized, I vandalized pain, covered up and camouflage get used to arsenal rain as if basically he's 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 pretty much saying that um through the music and culture and, and how the way of the world is now right we have all been desensitized especially the african-american culture with the rap music and the guns and the fight you know the glorification of things and murder on the songs that to the point we've almost become, like you said, desensitized to it. So we don't feel how dangerous it is to our culture. It is wrong. It's horrible to a people, a culture of people, you know? And, and I think, I think a little bit of the video, he kind of, it's almost like he's, it's like a love hate thing where he also take, he has taken part of that, you know, that way, but now he's changed his focus because he said, as he learned, as time goes, he gets older. He sees things completely different now than how he used to see them coming up. Because, you know, you can go back to some of his lyrics. Like he's always been someone who's on a higher conscious level of thinking and someone's on a higher frequency level and thinking above, you know, you know, normal. And, and I think that's, I think he wants to, he wants this to be for his people collectively. Um, and I feel like that is, you know, very important. I think that's, you know, and in, in the video, you see like Kobe Bryant, you see Kanye West make an appearance, uh, Jess, Jesse Smollett, um, Nipsey Hussle, um, and, 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 and uh, so on. You know, it's black figures who are in the public eye, who whether they're some are gone and no longer here with us and who have just had a hard time with being under the limelight. And it's kind of that, that pers that thing that kind of um, a lot of artists and people who are in the industry say like you know it's it's beautiful but also yet it's almost like a yin and yang in this business it's like um, they lift you up to break you down you know a lot of people can you know are in this industry and they kind of don't get out unscathed they 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 kind of are um, in a way they are pretty much victims of this unhealthy culture and time that we're living in that that money is glorified that that fame is everything and that this is all life is about but you know you hear uh, time and time again a lot of celebrities a lot of people think that once you know always say you know i got to this level and that did not complete me that didn't make me whole i wasn't happy i thought in this when i reached the pinnacle of my career what i've always wanted to do i will be fulfilled and that's just honestly the not the truth but we, it's glorified throughout mass media that you know hollywood and, and fame fortune and lights are just it's everything right but then you have to understand that there there is a price right in a way to for all of that you know um so it's always it's like that saying what's the grass is not always green on on the other side it's like we look at other people's side, um, side of the the yard and we're like oh their grass is green and it's like no i can also my I, all i have to do is water my grass so it can be green it's that it's that that misconception of what the media kind of Kind of feeds us in the in in on television through social media through music through television we're, we're getting it constantly bombarded with all these things and so of course d d society if we're if we're soaking in that kind of information right all the time because it's forever changing there's always a new trend there's always new something to say up to date with you kind of it becomes overwhelming you know so this what prompt the show cancel culture for me and i feel like you guys if you haven't seen kendrick lamar's um 
new video, new visuals, I honestly, it's very deep. You have to listen to it a few times and look at the, pull up the lyrics, read the lyrics, let it soak in. I mean, it's really, it's really powerful song and you can feel, um, you can feel his, almost his pain and you can feel his, his emotion through the music. Um, I mean, it's, it's just a, a, a masterpiece of work. It's a masterpiece of work. Um, his album comes out Friday. Um, we're looking forward to it here on the Creative Over here, MV Films Productions. Um, I'm super excited though for all the new music coming out this year and just new content, new stuff happening. And I just, again, guys, this is a great time that we're living in. We can share and we can we can put art out that that we really want to put out that we're not being censored and told what we can or cannot say so I'm, I'm a big advocate of being able to control your narrative um as a filmmaker i you know i worked in the industry for years and i saw the good and bad of what it brings and what it can um you know give some I wasn't willing to do and some things I was like, okay, this is great. And then some it's like, whoa, this is really unhealthy. I chose as a, as a creator to control my narrative at a young, at, a, at an early age after dealing with some situation. You know, I've had situations where, you know, it was like, you know, an ultimatum. And I chose to, to go on my own with my film production, my, my company you know, producing my own projects and talk about what I want to talk about. Um, you know, and I think that's, that's more freeing. Yes. It's, it, it, you know, it's that kind of thing. If, as long as you're okay with where you are in your path in life, that's all that matters at the end of the day, you know, as long as you're okay with what you're putting out there, because at the end of the day, no man can put you, it can judge you only God. That's, that's the only person that I, um, consider and taking into consideration each and every day um so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode um again watch out for the cancel culture series it will be dropping on my youtube channel as a podcast this is going to only be the only visual video that you'll see of it but everything else is going to be uh podcast audio thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for listening uh always remember to live love laugh head over to my podcast streaming sites spotify iheart Amazon Music, uh, our show is on all the platforms, but the Cancel Culture series will directly be on MVB Films page on YouTube channel. All right, guys, see you guys soon. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.